Hey guys, we are going to add two mixed numbers and I bet you're stoked about it. You've been looking forward to this all day. Okay, before we add these, we are actually going to turn them into mixed, no, they are mixed numbers. We're going to turn them into improper fractions, okay? That's when the top is bigger than the bottom, okay? So this is pretty easy to do. If you need some more examples, I'll link some in the corner, but I'm also going to do it here. So we take our denominator and we multiply it by the big number, okay? So three times six gives me 18. And then we add two, okay? So we get 20. So I've got 20. And then my denominator is still three, okay? And we're adding two and four fifths, but I wanna get this to be a improper fraction as well. So we're gonna take five and multiply it by two, which is 10, and then add four, so 14. So then we have 14 fifths, okay? So this fraction and this fraction are equal, this fraction and this fraction are equal. They're just a lot easier to work with when they're improper fractions, okay? All right, now, the kind of bad news is when we add fractions, the bottoms, the denominators have to be the same, okay? So we're thinking, what is the smallest number that both three and five go into? Well, it's 15, okay? So let me show you what my goal is here. I want to have a fraction that is equal to 20, thir 20 thirds, but has a denominator of 15, and a fraction that is equal to 14 fifths, but has a denominator of 15, okay? That is my goal. So we know what we want the denominator to be. We got to figure out what the numerator is, okay? So what do I multiply three by to get 15? Well, I multiply it by five, right? But I can't just go multiplying by five wherever I want. If I multiply by five on bottom, I need to multiply by five on top. Why is that? Why can I do that? Because five over five is just one. So it's really like I'm multiplying this by one. It's just a really weird looking one, right? So I'm changing what the fraction looks like, but not its value, okay? So when I multiply, I go straight across. So five times 20 gives me 100. Oh, let me get my orange, hold on. 100, five times three, gives me 15, which is what we wanted, right? Okay, now we gotta do it to the other one. So I multiply five by three to get 15, but if I multiply the bottom, I gotta multiply the top, because then I'm multiplying by three over three, which is one, okay? So 14 times three gives me 42, okay? All right, now our denominators are the same and I can add these, so. When I add these, the denominator stays 15. That's why they needed to be the same. And then I do 100 plus 42, which gives me 142. Okay, that is my answer. But oftentimes, uh, if you're doing this for a class or something, your teacher will probably want it back as a mixed number. Okay, so to do that, we just ask ourselves, well, how many times... Does 15 go into 142? Well, let me tell you, it goes in nine times. <laughs> if you didn't know that off the top of your head, I didn't either. I did it beforehand. So it goes in nine times, and which is 135. So you have seven left over. And we still have a denominator of 15. Okay. So six and two thirds plus two and four fifths gives me nine and seven fifteenths. All right, that was fun. <laughs> hopefully you can uh, get your homework done if you have any and hopefully that makes sense, bye.